This is notification summaries on iPhone 6s, one of the awesome Apple intelligence features that are only available on iPhone 15 Pro and above. And this one even has more features than Apple's implementation. But why and most importantly, how? Let's get right into it. Introducing Apple intelligence. People were hyped up. Arguably the best ecosystem was getting AI integration. But there was one feature that became meme. People made fun of it being so bad. There is even a dedicated subreddit for this, which is where I got my inspiration. And on top of that, Apple stopped this for some time due to inaccurate information. Can you guess which one? Yep, notification summaries. And today, I'm bringing it to older iPhones. But again, why? After seeing Apple intelligence memes, I asked myself, is there a way to improve notification summaries? I realized that people are frustrated with Apple intelligence because they couldn't adjust any settings. Yes, you can disable it for any app you want, but you cannot change the AI model, you cannot change the prompt. You also do not get to see the original notification with ease. We all know AI is imperfect and it can make mistakes sometimes. So I ended up developing a tweak called Digest. It brings notification summaries to every jailbroken on iPhone. Okay, before we get to the tweak, let me explain how tweaking works and what exactly is a tweak. It's mostly written in logos. I'm not familiar with it, but it's a templating language. You hook classes at runtime and change any method behavior. For example, percentage sign orig will call the original implementation in that method. Or better yet, you can call the original implementation with modified parameters. If you didn't understand anything, it basically changes the way a piece of software works. Let's get back to my tweak and see what's going to be different than Apple's implementation. So I wanted to use this built-in feature, which is long pressing or 3D touch or haptic touch. I honestly do not know what it's called. <laughs> Apple internally calls it long looking. Okay, here's what is different than Apple's implementation. Not limited to iPhone 15 Pro and above obviously, it's open source. You can use an AI model, change the system prompt, user prompt. You can see the original notification by long pressing on it. That's pretty much it. Let's get to installation and see how you can install this thing. Obviously, you have to be jailbroken. I'll skip that part and the topic is completely free. Just first decide on which AI model you want to use. For example, Google Gemini has a free tier, but your data is used to improve their product and you're heavily rate limited. Okay, I've just switched over to the iPhone and we're gonna continue from here. Um, just open up Safari, i.google.dev. Click on top left, models more, about, build with Gemini. And it's gonna prompt you to sign in. Let me just sign in real quick. Okay, so once you've done that, let's click on top left again, get API key, go down, create API key, and choose a project. Click on create. Okay, there you go. Just copy that key and just open a new tab. Just go to repo.encore.me. This is my repo. So I use Sileo as package manager. Um, I'm gonna go with that. Just click on open. Add source. Okay, so just click on the repo. Click on digest. There you go. This is the tweak. It's what I've been talking about. Um, yeah, just click on get. And confirm. Okay, click on done. Now go to settings. Okay, scroll all the way down in the settings and click on digest. Go to settings again, endpoints. Since we're gonna use Gemini, we can just edit this. Just as it says here, long press on an endpoint. And now you're on the settings now. Just paste your API key here. Click on save. That's it. Now go back, enable it to pick, and reset ring. Uh, I'll be back once I've done that. So I'm back, uh, it's now activated, but how do we test this thing, right? Unfortunately, we're gonna wait for a notification. Yeah, I know that sucks, but... One eternity later. Did you really think that we're gonna wait for a notification? Of course not, just go over to settings and then from go scroll down and click on test. You can just push a fake notification. I'm just gonna do that. That's it. Uh, as you can see summarized can just hover over it see the original message 
original notification and you can edit the content here same thing here also yeah now let's compare Gemini with ChatGPT open up uh, Safari again and then dot open AI just click on top right login um, from here I'm gonna continue with Google oh my goodness route error so for some reason I cannot sign in um, let's try something else nope I'm gonna have to get the API key from somewhere else just go to dashboard and from there API keys and let's just say uh, digest yeah uh, I'm just gonna create that copy that key I got the API key I'm gonna go to endpoints GPT for all again just long press on it paste it here save that's it so in order to change just click on it that's it has changed now and we're gonna use chat GPT to summarize this let's push this there you go uh let's now use Gemini I just want to okay it's let's just go back I'm just gonna push it again okay so they're pretty much the same right yeah I mean the context isn't that different they're all same I know that there's gonna be people who are going to use local models with this and let me show you how you can set up just that now um, I'm going to be using 7 billion parameter one here I'm gonna be using Olama for this Olama serve that's it um, in terms of configuration though um, so click on the local model and here you don't have to set an API key because it's a local model you may need to change the IP address you probably need to um, so the way you get your IP address is just type in IP config and IPv4 address is your local network address just do just type it exactly here just click on save and change it to that and that should just be it now let's push a notification there you go you can see all llama doing some stuff there you go um the summary is now different compared to others let's see the last one is from a llama um quen 7 billion parameter by the way we're using a 7 billion parameter quen i really like this model and i would highly suggest you use something similar to this but what if you go like crazy and go like really low half billion parameter one let's try that out in order to do that we need to pull that oh here okay olama models 2.5 again and it has half billion parameter one and i just want to pull this and try this out like it's like 400 megabytes let's see what happens so how do we pull it just do olama pull and then the model name and it's gonna pull that that's it uh, let's just serve it again let's change the model name so that we use the half billion parameter one so 0.5 B um, it's gonna click on save that's it you don't have to do anything else let's see how summary looks like right now this is very low in fact you can't even run this on the device itself there you go we checked the Google what we check the Google login status on our next device. Since it wasn't me, no action needed. It's just hallucinating. It just sucks. What is this? I want to go over the settings a little bit because I have not talked about them. So prompt is basically the prompt. And there is the system prompt. So if you're not familiar with that, let me show you. Like you're an assistant that summarizes notifications. You describe what it's supposed to do something like that and this is the user prompt and yeah so super simple do not go in detail short on urls numbers so there's a sanity checks and the only reason why it exists is because i'm using some deprecated apis and you know uh it might just crash on your phone so i just uh made that optional uh and then there's a check api this is very experimental uh there's this minimum message length there's also timeout. We already covered the 
fake notification stuff and there's this log level and let me just show you how you can debug this actually so in order to debug you need to be on mac unfortunately uh so you need the console app here i'm just gonna open that up now uh you're gonna see your iphone here connected iphone i'm just gonna click on start and that's going to you know show the messages let's just let's just click on start and search for the term digest with uh three not e go to settings and change the log level to verbose there you go now go to endpoints and just try changing one see um updating open ai instance new endpoint and i'll probably yeah i'll just switch to quen and you can see that it reflected the real time now for example if you receive notification let's just change this to 7 billion parameter one again we don't want to get stupid notifications um i'm just gonna choose quen and let's just send a fake notification so once you get that as you can see so endpoint url making a post request with body this is how the body looks like and there is this response body if you've been watching so far please consider subscribing i generally make content about tech uh whether it be apple or something else thank you so much and let's continue with the video what i want to show you and there is an, another app where you can send uh fake notifications this is from aiden uh i just forked his repo and and i added some workflows to build it up every resource used in this video is going to be in the description below so let's go to um releases and just click on you know this app you also have to install the tweak arm64 is for uh, rootless arm is for rootful i don't know if aiden will be okay for me to host this on my uh, repo so i don't want to do that but here you can just grab it on github and install it manually once you have installed one of these tweaks again ARM64 is for rootless and ARM for rootful devices. Just click on this and I already downloaded it. Let's go to downloads. Okay, I just double clicked on it and there you go. Once you extract this, there's this debugging tools. Just click on it and boom, we're gonna get this. It cannot because the developer cannot be verified. This happens because it's not signed. Uh, you just have to right click and open on it. Just click on open again. Now we're gonna see an interface like this. Just click on invite and just accept that invite on your phone. And let's just send like John. Um say I got a party to join. I guess I'm just gonna repeat this multiple times. Okay, let's just receive this notification from com.apple mobile sms this is the bundle id for messages now if i click on enter there you go party at 8 a.m join oh sorry 8 p.m join uh yeah that's it well digest is not perfect uh we're missing some features from apple's implementation for example notification groups so these are uh like when you have so many notifications from an app you see them as group and uh, Digest does not summarize notification groups. That that requires additional work and I haven't been able to put the time in. If the notification you're gonna receive is meant to be private, like if you, for example, set the previews to be not shown on lock screen, uh, that's not gonna work, unfortunately. So uh, avoid enabling for those apps. Thank you for watching. If you liked it, just click on that like button. If you disliked it, we can also dislike, no worries. See ya.